in here preparing my lunch. We had chicken last night. So I'm just taking some chicken pieces. Throw some barbecue sauce on it. And that is lunch today. Happy Wednesday. Happy day 18 of October. It is cold again. Woo! I tell you what, I almost went back in the house and woke Mr. up. <laughs> I try to be nice because he don't have to leave as early as I do. <clears throat> but I'm like, I'll get on the bus. Let me tell you, it's cold out here. I can see my breath. Like, it's too early in the season for me to be able to see my breath. I don't want to see my breath until December sometime. But no, there it is. Right in my face. It is cold. I'm hungry. Like, I woke up. I'm like starving. I can't wait to get to work so I can make my oatmeal. Hopefully I don't eat my chicken before lunchtime. <laughs> That's how hungry I am. I'm starving. It's so cold. I don't have a coat. <clears throat> All I got is like a great big old coat from a couple years ago. It's not that cold yet. I need to find a jacket. Like a... I've just been using this, <clears throat> my hoodie. But I don't know, I might need something a little more insulated in the morning. It's a little better. Sorry, the bus, school bus. Um, it's a little better in the afternoons. It heats up to like, you know, 60, 70. But that morning is cold. Make sure my bus not coming. Uh oh. Oh. Excuse me. <laughs> um, yeah. That's all I got, so. Happy Wednesday, and I will see everybody later. It has warmed up. It's really nice outside now. It came out. We only had a little bit of babies today, so I brought two of them outside to get some air. It's freezing in that building, but it's nice outside. It feels so good out here, and the sun is like right here. Just beating on me. It's so peaceful. I love it. You want to see the babies? Okay. <laughs> That's all I'm going to show. It's not like my old job where I knew the parents like really well and stuff. But I don't want to put nobody's baby out there. And they be like, don't have my baby. So, give me a little snippet. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy this sun and warm up some. Okay, I need y'all to walk home with me because it's a killer on the loose. And I am not even trying to get killed. <laughs> so apparently, some guy from Delaware killed three people and injured two in Maryland at like an office shooting or something. But then he came to Delaware and I guess... <sighs> allegedly he shot somebody in Delaware and Wilmington where I live um, actually not too far from my house so I got a call my son's school they left a message saying that the schools were on lockdown because I guess where the guy lives is in the area of where the schools are so then I go on Facebook of course because that's where you get all the news right <laughs> people update Facebook fast so I saw a whole bunch of posts on Facebook about it and um so I looked on Delaware online and they had the guy's picture and the whole you know like a so far story of what happened I'm sure it's probably updating so much but um yeah so then my director and my assistant director I guess they had to decide what to do because we have school age children I guess and um so they put us on lockdown just saying we can't go outside with the kids and um you know no outside people can come in stuff like that so I'm like damn we on lockdown too but now it's three o'clock and the workday is over so I got to walk to this bus stop 
I'm pretty sure the killer ain't in this area, but you never know. You know what I mean? Um, so then I got another phone call from the school saying they were closing and then they canceled all the uh, after school activities. So, of course, I text the boy. I'm like, you good? <laughs> he was okay. So, as long as he's safe, I'm good. But, um, I don't know. It's crazy. And now, talking with my sisters and them on our group chat, my niece said the guy, she's seen him before because he came, she works for like a payday loan place, and he came there a couple weeks ago to try to get a loan, but I guess he got denied, and he yelled at them and cussed them out and something else. So, it's kind of scary that you know that's how close somebody capable of doing something like this was to people so oh, my ankle is killing me today I oh I'm gonna sit down hold on I'm gonna come back here sit in the shade um whew, I'm gonna get totally off topic I hurt my ankle like two years ago um I fell at work two years ago and my ankle has not been right since and every now and then it hurts if I be doing too much and I whew, I did a lot of walking um you know like from where the bus stop is and then going to work and all that I haven't been used to walking in a while plus I stopped exercising <laughs> and I was doing good and I was used to keeping it moving and stuff but now I haven't been doing much and it's hurting today I'm gonna have to put my ankle brace on for a couple days see if that helps but yeah um, I'm gonna need them to hurry up and catch this killer because I can't live like this because um, literally where the person, whoever got shot in Delaware, it's like maybe not even five minutes from my house driving. You know, it's probably two miles or whatever, but it's, it's close enough that he would, you know, he could get in the area. So, but I guess we would have to know why he did it, you know, are those people targeted or he just randomly shooting people because if those are the people like I feel bad I'm so sorry to hear that you know three people well four people died but for for somebody like that to be on the loose and you know the police are barricading and doing all types of stuff if I know that you needed to you wanted to kill those people specifically and you're not just randomly shooting people you see then I, I feel a little bit better you know so I'm like okay he not gonna shoot me if he see me cuz he don't know me and he I ain't on his list you know you know what I'm saying I hope that don't sound crazy but yeah so hopefully they can catch him and I hope he don't kill himself or have a shootout with police or whatever because then you never get answers like I hate when people do this kill a bunch of people then kill their self then it's like so now what you know you can never get the answer so I hope they catch him so he can go to trial and he can pay for this because it's not right it's a shame so I'm going to sit here watch and watch the whole time I walk to the bus stop I'm like <laughs> watching um, just because you know and the news does this to us the news makes us scared they're like you know I look online and it's like manhunt on for Wilmington murder or it's like wait I'm in Wilmington so like you know I they scare you with all this that's why I hate to watch the news it's scary so now every guy I see I'm gonna be like is that him is that the killer you know what I mean so I'm about to wait for this bus and I will check in with y'all when I make it home safely safe to say I made it home and I'm doing this what I do when I get home every day I lay in the bed and I rest feels so good
<laughs> I just lay here. This thing, okay, is really hard to get my chill on the right way. This make this is why I don't get up dudes. I'm about to take it down because every time I lay my head back, it's just this big knot keeps hitting my head. And I can't get inside. Like my head itches. I can't get in there. I'm about to take it down. Anyway, yeah. I'm home. I've actually been home for about 15, 20 minutes. And I'm about to go over here and get these babies. But I said let me sit down for a few minutes before they come in because no sitting when that happens. And then we had to figure out what's for dinner. I'm tired. And I didn't take anything out to cook. So it might have to be an order of pizza night or make some noodles or sandwiches. I think we got some tuna fish or like still got a lot of leftover chicken. Maybe I'll make some chicken salad. Anyway, I'll check y'all later. I'm getting these last five minutes of relaxation before I go pick these kids up. And a dog. Stop it. She's such a mess. Do you miss me? I was trying to kiss somebody. Stop. Joy, say hi. Okay. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have told her to say hi, right? Ugh. Look at this. She always got to be so close. Okay. I ain't seen you all day. Let's give her some love. Stop my cup. Look. You stop touching her. She, she, she makes you touch her foot. Look. See? Once you touch her, she don't let you stop. She's a hot mess. See that helicopter? They still looking for the guy. <laughs> Where are you going? Corey. You got your paper? No. Nice. Go ahead. What your mommy put on you today? You got these fancy shoes. Look like you got leg warmers. <laughs> Where are you going? You got shoes. What you got, Denise? <laughs> I know he goes one at a time instead of two feet. You got talking shoes. Hey, look. See, she got to go up two at a time. He goes up one at a time. He's a mess. Stole the baby's toy. Okay, that's what you yeah. here. Well, actually, she stole it the other day, and we couldn't find it. And now I come in the room, and this is what she's doing: killing the toy. All she does takes stuff, get it, and then she kills stuff because most toys come with one of these things. So her goal is to get that out. And then look. Just take all this stuff out. We have cotton everywhere. This is why we just live in filth. She don't care. Pizza it is. This for the boy. I got some fries for myself. I'm just going to eat one slice of pizza. I'm not that hungry. Having trouble taking this darn thing down. It's like I keep finding hidden bobby pins, and then it's just um, tucked and rolled and everything. It's giving me such a headache. Look, found another one. <clears throat> Keep it like this for Halloween. It could be the itsy bitsy spider. 
<laughs> and so it's like it's so I just been grabbing and going. So update on the killer. Um he did the people he shot were like he knew them, they were his co-workers. He went there specifically to kill them. And um three people died, two people are I guess they were shot in the head, but they're in critical condition, so as of now they're still alive, but you know, hopefully they pull through. But um yeah, he went he drove to the job. Oh, sorry. Oh, my hand was itching right there. Woo! Yes, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to get that. I've been trying to itch that spot for a week. Okay. Um. Yeah, so yeah, he drove to the job. Like, it, was, it happened like right before 9 o'clock. And he killed him. Or he did the shooting. And then he drove... To Delaware and shot the other guy and yet they still haven't found him so who knows he could have left town again um, I don't know it's crazy I don't understand why everybody in this world is so evil like, why can't we all just be happy? Be happy. So, whew, that's done. Now it's kind of... Look at this gray, okay? I've always had gray, right? Since I was a little girl. But now it's like, it's really starting to come out. And I used to dye it. And I haven't dyed my hair since... Was it last summer? Whatever, whenever I dyed it black couple months ago I don't even remember but um now they're coming like they're coming down now they they just getting out of control okay I feel better let's do a lens check because look at this my hair is getting so long it's like right at the bottom of my bra strap and uh, let's see the back. I'm trying to get on my tippy toes. It's like, <coughs> excuse me, probably the same length back there. But when I first got them done, they were they were literally like up here. They were so small. And three years later. My hair has never been this long, ever. I wonder how long it would be if I actually combed all the locks out. That would never happen because I don't have the patience for that. But, interesting. Okay, so, that's it. My head feels so much better. I'm about to um, oil my scalp. I'm gonna put some oil on it and then probably put a cap on just let the oil seep in because it's so dry so itchy from being up so long <sighs>